how to make a canva newspaper hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can make a newspaper using canva so let's get into it now using canva can be a great way for you to get started with presentations newsletters logos and more however did you know that you can actually build your newspapers with canva as well and it's really simple and really easy so let's get into it now to get started, simply head on over to canva.com and you have to register on Canva to get started. However, registration is completely free and you can just sign up with your email address. Once you have signed up, simply go into this search bar and you can search for newspaper. And once you search for newspaper, you will see different types of templates available. So you will see there are a lot of different templates available for you to build your newspaper using Canva. Mostly I am focusing on building a digital newspaper, but you can easily print these out and make this a actual newspaper as well. So it really depends on how you want to structure your paper. Now you guys can see that Canva has a lot of different types of templates. They have some that are heavy on visuals, some that are heavy on text. They have, you know, a lot of different options available that you can pick out from. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick out a newspaper template that's, you know, that's that has more images and has a very nice visual appeal. So I think I like this one over here. So I'm going to click on customize this template to get started. Now, once you do that, we're going to zoom in to be able to see this entire template. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you can build these templates from scratch. So if I was to show you guys how to build this from scratch, it would be pretty easy as well. But replacing the content in these can be easier for most people. So let's say our niche is fashion and this is going to be a website exclusive. Um, Durden's new drop like this. And then let's say this is our newspaper article that we are writing like this. And this is more so the structure of an article. So from here, you're going to enter your content and you can delete these images and replace them with your own. Now, what happens if you want to build a you know front page of your newspaper because usually newspapers have a front page so they have a similar template that follows the same aesthetic and you guys can see they have this one over here they have quite a few different ones that you can use but if you want something from scratch so let's say i'll show you guys how to build it from scratch as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up a empty page this is an a5 a4 size and then i'm going to search for paper in the element section and then just go into the paper section and select any type of paper that you want this is just to add a little bit of texture to our background like this i'm just going to expand it a little to fit our canvas like this like so after i have done that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just lock this in place then I'm going to enter the title of our newspaper. So we're going to go into text and then add a heading. Let's say our newspaper is called The Times or, you know, the YouTube Times like this. And then I'm just going to select this and I'm going to capitalize it and I can change the font as well. And you can even enter your logo if you have an actual logo for that. So we're just going to be using simple fonts, but if you do have one, just enter your logo and that is going to be the title of your newspaper on the top. Then you're going to go into elements and go into shapes and take a plain line over here, insert one of those and then just expand it. Make sure it's at a zero degree angle. You don't want this to have an angle. We're just going to expand it with a zero degree angle like this. And then you're just going to place it right below your title. Now you can do this in other ways as well. You can go into elements and search for the search for box and you're going to go into graphics and it's going to show you multiple different styles of boxes and lines. So we're going to search for royal lines over here and then go into graphics over here. And it's going to show you multiple different designs you can pick out from. So let's say we have this one over here and I'm just going to expand it a little and we're going to add this and I'll take the, I'll actually add this to the top 
and I'll take all our simple little line and let's say I'll place that beneath it and then I'll place some other more royal lines beneath it as well. So let's say I want to use this one over here. So I'll just place it over here and then expand it a little like this. And now after that, I can start structuring the rest of my newspaper. Let's say I have a title image and then I have two columns on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my images and then I'm just going to insert the image. So I'm just going to go into elements and I'm going to search for buildings or New York office like this and I can insert this image like so and I'm going to edit the photo so it matches better with our with our newspaper so I'm going to increase the temperature and decrease the brightness to this a little and then I'm going to resize this over here like so I want this to be a bit more narrow I'm going to do this over here like this and we can add the title of our actual first column so I'm going to add is New York in trouble like this and we're going to place that over here and increase the font size a little as well and you can place this on top of the image you can also do it on you know in the form of a overlay that depends on what your personal style is I'm going to, going to place it on top and then I'm going to change the font as well like this and then I'm going to use the elements and then I'm going to add a arrow over here where people would know that the article is going to be on the next page and then I'm going to enter some text and add some body text on page two and I'm going to write that right beneath this image so people know that this particular article is going to be found on page two. And then now I'm going to build two different columns. So for that, I'm going to go back into Royal Lines and Elements. And we are going to go into the Graphics section. And in our Graphics section, I want to use another, you know, line because I want these to be pretty divided. I don't want to, you know, make it look like it's mixed up. I think I'm going to go for something a bit more narrow. Yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. So I'll just use this over here like so. And I will resize this arrow a bit. So it's a bit smaller like this. And I'm going to place this to the other direction like this. And now after that, I can go into text and I can insert images for the rest of my columns. So like this, and I'm going to go into photos over here and insert a photo like this, whatever photos you have for your column. And I can insert the text down below. And for the other one, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction. So taking this image over here resizing it placing it at the bottom and then i would write the text on top so whatever is the article text can be inserted here as well as here like this so just like that you can build your own newspaper using canva i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe